the coolest cars are made by non-car makers. While some have gone on to become household names, others have disappeared into obscurity. Read on to see the cars that companies like Sony, Siemens, and even Kalashnikov have built. Sony unveiled a convincing-looking Tesla rival named Vision S at the 2020 CES show. At the time the company said it had no plans to go further. But in early January again at CES Sony unveiled the Vision S02, an SUV based on the earlier saloon. The new seven-seater boasts twin electric engines, each good for 268 brake horsepower, though no target range has yet been mentioned. Intriguingly, on this occasion Sony said that the company intends to explore entry into the EV market, and it looks like it will do this in concert with Honda. It would not be completely unprecedented for an electronics firm to enter the car market, Samsung had a car-making arm in the 90s before selling it to Renault. Steinway in 1888, New York piano maker William Steinway established the Daimler Motor Company in New York, licensing the name of Gottlieb Daimler. So just three years after the birth of the car as we know it, Daimler became the first European car company in America. Steinway died in 1896 before a car could be built, and his heirs sold their shares in Daimler to General Electric. It was not until 1904 that the first, American Mercedes was finally built, a version of the Mercedes 45 horsepower, and examples were built up to 1907. Outspan Mini, Outspan is a South African orange company. In the early 1970s, it commissioned the Brian Thwaites Company in Sussex to build a promotional car for Europe. Based on the highly hackable Mini, a very lifelike orange body, complete with orange peel texture, was fitted over the Mini's chassis. Of six cars built, three are still known to exist. Outspan Mini, continued, we had a drive-in one in 2019. The cabin ambience is of a teenage fantasy bedroom circa 1973, none of the windows open, the temperature within soon turning as hot as a harvest ripening sun. It's a surprise to discover that the orange corners with the quicksilver zest of a standard mini. With a more ambitious pace, and 30 to 40 miles per hour feels ambitious in a globe with the headroom to support top hats, the orange succumbs to corkscrew pitching that could quickly turn into a headline-grabbing incident. Boeing Car In 2019, Boeing and Porsche announced they were teaming up to develop an electric flying car concept. And this is it. Well, an early indication of what the as-yet-unnamed flying car might look like anyway. Neither company has given any indication of when this might take off, but in 2018 research by Porsche suggested that the urban air mobility market could start to gain traction as soon as 2025. Voisin C5, before starting a car company, Gabriel Voisin, 1880-1973, was better known for his aviation endeavors. The French aviation pioneer built the first manned airplane capable of powered flight and his company, Avions Voisin, was the first mass producer of aircraft in the world. The end of World War I saw a dramatic drop in demand for airplanes, so Voisin began experimenting with powered bicycles and then a two-seater car that he developed based on a design by André Citron. The result was the M1 in 1919. The car pictured, the C5, was produced between 1923 and 1928 and had a top speed of 78 miles per hour. His cars were some of the most luxurious in the world in their day, and are highly prized now. One ultra rare model, a C25 Aerodyne, was sold at auction in 2013 for 1.9 million US dollars. Apple iCar, dubbed the Apple iCar, the tech giant had bold plans back in 2016 to revolutionize personal mobility, and to do for cars what it's done for phones. Apple never showed an actual car and the project was shrouded in mystery. Then, in 2019, Apple called its Project Titan team with the company saying it was switching its focus to autonomous systems rather than the car itself. Since 2017, it has been testing a fleet of Lexus RX 450h with self-driving tech on the streets of Cupertino, near its headquarters.
Siemens Elektrisch Victoria, made famous for its telegraph-like invention of the 1840s and known today for its consumer goods, trains, medical equipment, and IT tech, Siemens waded into unknown waters in 1905 by building an electric car. The Elektrisch Victoria had a top speed of 19 miles per hour and a range of about 60 kilometers, 37 miles. It was available in three body styles, a four-seat convertible, a pickup, and a van. Only about 50 models were sold. In 2010, Siemens built a working replica based on early sketches but later that year the replica was involved in an accident in Germany, and the leader of the project was killed. Roborace powered by NVIDIA, this is the Roborace driverless racing car, powered by US graphics processor giant NVIDIA. Each robber race consists of 10 teams running identical cars powered by NVIDIA's Drive PX2 chip. Rather than a battle of skill and bravery, it's a competition of software supremacy. Google Firefly, Waymo is Google's automotive offshoot and has been designing driverless systems since 2009. Its most famous product to date has been the Firefly, the cute bug-shaped autonomous pod without a steering wheel or pedals. They were a regular sight on the roads around Google's Mountain View home, but the car was canned in 2017. Waymo will continue to develop autonomous tech but use other companies' cars as hosts. Michelin PLR Back in the 70s, Michelin built a prototype car for tire testing. Based on the Citron DS, and powered by two Chevrolet big block engines, its most notable feature was its 10-wheel design. Nicknamed the Centipede, the PLR was the size of a truck and weighed 9,500 kilograms. It carried a lorry tire in the middle which it tested at speeds of up to 100 miles per hour. NASA won, it's all very well going into space but getting around once you're there is a challenge. Ever since man first set foot on the moon, NASA has been designing and building various types of vehicles to make extraterrestrial exploration easier. This is one of its Mars rovers, unveiled in 2017 and looking more like Batman's car than a roving laboratory. NASA intends to send a manned mission to Mars in the 2030s. Grumman LLV, if you live in the USA, there's a good chance your mail arrived in one of these today. The Grumman LLV is a light transport truck used by the United States Postal Service. Built in the 90s, and with more than 140,000 made, the LLV is still in service today. It was built by military and civilian aircraft producer Grumman, perhaps most famous for making the F-14 Tomcat fighter, which in 1994 merged with Northrop. Samsung Digital Cockpit Samsung is another tech giant getting in on the automotive action. At the CES show in 2020, it presented its digital cockpit, and used a pretty convincing prototype car to show it. Within the four-seat convertible's cabin which it built with subsidiary Harman, Samsung showcased its future vision of in-car entertainment and safety. Samsung's digital cockpit uses 5G to link features inside and outside the car to give drivers and passengers a more connected experience. Inside, there are eight displays and eight cameras and the car can share information with other cars by displaying messages on its rear exterior display. Samsung XM3 Inspire, the digital cockpit concept wasn't Samsung's first car project. In 2019 it unveiled the XM3 Inspire concept in a partnership with Renault. The XM3 is a rebadged version of the Renault Arcana SUV that was introduced in 2018. The XM3 has a swooping rear for a sportier look. It's expected to go into production this year in South Korea. Please subscribe, like, share, and comment.